other people and welcome to welcome back to my channel my name is Jazlyn if you are new don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video with your friends today I'm going to be picking out my October TBR with my TBR jar I did this last month and you guys seem to really enjoy this um and we're going to be doing it again because it was really fun and I actually read like three or four books from that TBR so that's pretty exciting. You'll see that in my wrap-up, which should already have came out by now. Um, but I'm also filming on a different camera than I usually do, so let me know how you think about the quality. Um, and I might get an external microphone for this micro for this camera, depending on how it turns out. Like I said, we are going to be doing the TBR picks out my reads for October. I do have some books that I want to read that I've already written down for like book club requirements or they're books I really, really want to get to in like spooky season because it is October. Oh so yeah, let's just get started. Um, I did leave out the ones that I picked last month just so I'm not getting the same ones. Once this is empty, I'll probably write new prompts and we'll see what, how we go from there. This makes my bookshelf look really empty, but I promise you I have books. I just rearranged my bookshelf, so it looks kind of empty now. Let's go ahead. Kindle Unlimited. Already on shelf. Okay, this camera actually focuses so you can see what it says. So we're just going to go on my Kindle Unlimited. And we're going to pick a book that's already on my shelf. Because I tend to check out books from Kindle Unlimited. And just they just sit there for months on end and I never read them. So let's go to my Kindle Unlimited backlist and see what we have. Oh, I have just the one. We are going to do Six Scorched Roses by Carissa Broadbent. I am 46% through this book and I've been reading it since June of this year. This is a novella. It's less than like 200 something pages and I have not finished it yet. And if you know me, The Serpent in the Wings of the Night was like one of my favorite books this year because it really got me out of my reading slump that I was in for the past like four months so I really want to get back into this world but you have to read the novella before you read the second book and I just never finished it so this is going on my TBR so I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot this and add it to my list because like I have to finish this book like it's been on here for like I'm saying six months now because I just never finished it which is really funny okay Okay, let's do, this one says, book you recently bought. This is perfect because I just bought a couple of books, so let's see. Okay, so here are a couple of the books I recently bought. We have Long Shot by Kennedy. Oh, wait, 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 there's one more. We have The Kingmaker by Kennedy Ryan. We have Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan. Then we have Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I saw Olivia Reads a Latte reading this book and she said it was really interesting. So I really want to get to this. And then we have From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I've heard this one is really, really good too. This is like a fantasy romance. I think this is a fantasy. I'm not 100% sure. Not going to lie to you. Um, and then obviously Kennedy Ryan is romance. <sighs> this is kind of hard, which I already know. I don't really want to read this because I'm not in a big like straight fantasy mood. I need a little bit of romance. And this one is already on my like set tbr for october so it's really in between these two mm, so it's either do i want to be emotional or do i want to see some blood basically um so okay after further deliberation meaning i already have a kennedy ryan book on my tbr so i think i'm going to go with from blood and ash because it sounds really good it's kind of a, a long book but we're gonna make do so it sounds really really fun um this word's kind of small but we're gonna do it so i'm really excited this is going on the tbr i don't know we'll see how i do so let's do a green an audiobook so for this i'm going to for this one i'm going to do grip by kennedy ryan which i know i just said i wasn't going to do another kennedy ryan book but i have this one checked out on hoopla and i really want to finish this series like before the year's over because i'm really really enjoying it i read the novella last month so i really want to get to that i already have it on hoopla i can check out check it out again in october because all my library holds are like four weeks out so i don't want to say a book and then like not actually read it so we're gonna do that Ooh, this one says start a new series. Um, let's see. We're gonna have to pick out a physical book for this, obviously. These are like my series right here. So we have, well, Hunger Games, I already read the first one. Vicious by V.E. Schwab, or we have the Hades and Persephone series by Scarlett St. Clark. I think I'm gonna pick V.E. Schwab just because I already have some dark romances on my established TBR, and I don't wanna do too much back to back you know this is vicious by v.e schwab i actually have the set which is really nice so if i really do like it obviously i'm gonna read the next one 
Um, it says, Victor and Eli started out as college roommates. Brilliant, arrogant, lonely boys who recognized the same sharpness and ambition in each other. In their senior year, a shared research interest in adrenaline, near-death experiences, and seemingly supernatural events reveals an in intriguing possibility that under the right conditions, someone could develop extraordinary abilities. But when their thesis moves from the academic to the experimental, things go horribly wrong. I've heard a lot of good things about this book. It sounds like it would be right up my alley for spooky season. And, you know, I really like stories like this that are kind of like creepy and weird so we're gonna read this and i just like the cover looks really cool too seeing a couple booktubers say that they really enjoyed this book so tbr i need to make sure that i keep the ones that i am reading like together so i can add them at the end of this one or two more and then we'll get into like the so this one says blue cover I think I mentioned this in my fall recommendations video, but I want to continue in the Monsters and Mutes series by Sabar Miller, and this one has blue on the cover. So this is Oaths and Emissions. This is the um, third book, and this is actually in Kendall Unlimited too. Um, this one is based off of Healing of Trojan and Trojan War Myths. Lenny Primrose is a puppet, a tempter sent to make my life bloody miserable. Adored by the public and used for her father's benefit, every man wants her and every woman wants to be her. She's good for my reputation. That's the only reason I agree to the little devil's proposal. I'm game, willing to play pretend to get what I want, until what I want is her. Now there are no rules. I wage a war against the world just to keep her. That sounds so good. I'm actually really excited that I picked this book. So yeah, this is on the TBR. Very exciting. Okay, let's do one more. Pink cover. The only pink covers I have is By a Thread, Happy Place, Blood Like Magic. So these are the pink covers that I have. I know I don't want to read Happy Place because this is a summer book and that's not spooky at all. And this is like a bully-ish, not bully-ish, but like grumpy sunshine romance. And I don't think I'm in the mood for this. And this is like six, almost 600 pages. Yeah, almost 600 pages. So we're going to go with Blood Like Magic because that's just the easiest option here. Um, so this is about a main character who, uh, when Voyage's ancestors gives her an unpredicted second chance to complete her calling, she agrees and it is horrified when her task is to kill her first love. And this time, failure means every Thomas witch will be stripped of their magic. I think I mentioned this in a video that I really wanted to read this, so here's my chance to actually read it. <laughs> Only thing I hate about doing these videos is like my books, they get everywhere and it's kind of annoying but you know okay i'm gonna go over my already established tbr i only have four on here which is pretty good so first we have falling by tj newman that is my book club pick for my in-person book club for october so this is a really really crazy one because it's basically about a pilot gets on his plane he's about to you know take his passengers to where he needs to go and he gets a call i think on his like radio or, or his phone or whatever and they're basically like we've kidnapped your whole family and if you don't crash this plane they're gonna die so either you crash the plane and your family lives or you have to you know you get there safely and your family dies so this one one of the girls in my group was like this book is going to give me anxiety but i'm ready to read it i'm very excited to read this book it sounds really really intriguing i don't think i've ever read like a thriller like this so i'm pretty excited for that but we have long shot by kennedy ryan now this is one of kennedy ryan's really really emotional romances like i've heard like every time i say on like instagram or something people are like make sure you're ready because the trigger warnings are very heavy so i wanted to make sure i was in a good headspace and i think i'm gonna read this in october this is a sports romance so this guy is in the nba i think it might be second chance too because they see each other in the bar, you know, they do their thing, and then they get separated, and then they come back together, and they, like, you know, rekindle their love. So, this one sounds really, really good. I really like the cover. She just got republished, I believe, and her covers changed. So, it's not the men covers anymore. And I really like this. So, next we have Shattered Secrets by Lillian Harris. This is on Kindle Unlimited. Um, this is basically, this one sounded really intriguing, because I saw this on Instagram, and then I forgot about it. And then I saw it again on my story graph in, like, the To Be Read section, and I was like, ooh, why haven't I read that yet? So, it's basically about this woman, where she gets married, and her husband is not who she thought, it, is not who she thought he was, and then one day he disappears. Once he disappears, his, um, I think it's, like, her friend, or maybe her husband's friend comes, and it's like, I won't leave you, I don't know where your husband went, but I'll always be for be here for you and he has like deep feelings for her and then her disappeared husband comes back and she's like you're not the guy I thought you were so it just sounded really really good I'm not sure if this is a mafia romance it might be I'm don't don't 
you know, don't hold me to it. But the premise just sounded really good. So that is on my TBR. The last book on my like established TBR is Into the Black Nowhere by Meg Gardiner. So I read Unsub by her last month and it was basically like criminal minds if it was a book and i really really enjoyed that book it was based on like the zodiac killer and this one is based on ted bundy and i just had a really good time with the book it was really interesting it kept me engaged it was really compelling so i want to continue with her series i think she has a lot of books in this series so i definitely want to get through them because i think she has a new series too anyway it sounded really really good i'm gonna read it anyway that is my tbr for october i hope you guys enjoyed let's see if i can actually get through this month's tbr we'll see because if you see our september i read three of the books that were on my tbr in september so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i will see you guys in my next one peace out